as well. So let's just see if you don't know how to, it's very, very important. I will just go through your, can go to, to the home where you, where you have your this, you can decide to say, um, can decide to start a project or you can decide to create a new repre, repository. So you can just say click new and you can decide to name it uh, anything you want. So right now just say 100 days, 100 days, okay, of, uh, of, of Python. So you can just decide to use this. And by the time you do this, you can also, there's a place for description. You can decide to say, uh, decide what you want to do with these 100 days, just a little description. Uh, okay, I'm going to, going to learn, I'm going to learn, okay, I'm going to learn Python for 100 days. So for 100 days, so you can do a whole lot of things, just type something and just let people see that this is the description of what you want to do. So by the time you do that, make sure it's, it's in public so everybody can see and add a read me, a read me kind of file. You can decide to add it. And this is more of like something like people can actually, this is where you can write a long description for your project, like step by step. And this other one is just, description is just a short one. That people may not really get but sick. After that, you can create a repository by the time you create a, a repository right now, you can decide to say, okay, I want to add file. I want to add file. Now, instead of creating new file, there are ways, if you click create new file, it's going to it, it's going to make sure that you have to understand the, the GitHub flow, like the commit and the rest, which at this particular point, if I introduce it, I get lost, but instead you just upload files. For example, you want to upload what you have done so far, and decide to say, okay, I'll click on upload file, you choose file. And me, I can decide to use anything right now. Let me check my, I can decide to use conditional. Like this is what I've done before now. So I can decide conditional statement. This is a project, a, a one of the notes that I've given you guys before. So by the time I do that, I drag it, you can see it's uploaded here. And I click, I can say, I click on commit changes. By the time I click on commit changes, you can see it has uploaded and it adds via upload. And I decide to click here. Once I decide to click here, you can see that my work is already showing here. You can anybody that anybody can go through your work and actually do what see what I've just done. Okay. So right now, what I'm going to do for you guys is you, you have done this before now. So what I want you to do, there's a place to star. Guys, this is a star. That means they want to like maybe like a like kind of thing for the person that has worked on it. So wherever you are, if you have followed me already on GitHub, please start this particular upload I've done right now. I'm going to send the link inside the inside the. I want you to see how to navigate through this. So wherever you are, create a GitHub account. I'm going to put it down. So I've sent a link to that particular GitHub uh, that repo I have just done right now. So go on it and let's see how you're going to start it. And also let's try and do, a, do yours as well. You can create any Python file that you have in your system. Just try to upload it. Even though you're using your phone at some point, don't worry. If you can even still navigate it through, but if you're using your system, just try and do it as well. But wherever you are and you have gotten your GitHub account, Wherever you are, just start this particular one I've just uploaded right now. I need to see that you have studied. It's very, very important that you have a presence online to people to see your work as well. So go and start. Let me see. I'll be going there to check if there's anybody that studied so far. Very, very important that we navigate it through. Okay, I can see three stars already. I don't know who are the persons that have done that. Okay, please. If you, okay, that's okay. I think Nena said done. Okay, how many persons have started? Okay, okay. So I can see, can see, can see three persons have started. So it's very, very important that we know how to navigate through this. So if everybody can go through my code and see what I've done on Hello, conditional. What will I do to start it? There's a place right now we can see. If you open it, you see a place that they see. You can see star. 
There's a, it just star. There's a on watch. You see pin on watch, fork and star. So you just click on it. You, you just see it. And let me see. Okay, I'm still seeing three stars. So let's see how many persons have been able to see seeing three. So it's very important that we know. Now, the next thing you're going to do, okay, the next thing you're going to do right now is do yours, wherever you are, if you can do yours and send the link, let's see. It's very, very important. But I don't know, I can't, is, find, I can't find the star. I don't know. Maybe it's because of phone, I don't know. I can't find Okay. Okay, there's no problem. Maybe later on you can find a way to do that. So whatever you're going to do is we will stop the creating of the repos re repository right now. So let's go to what we have for tonight. At least let's go through some things and let's see how we can navigate it. I might be using a different approach right now because I believe you guys would, can look at codes and understand it by now. Can look at codes and understand it by now. So what you're going to do is I'll be sharing the code that I've already prepared already and let's see how we can navigate you through if this better doesn't work we can still go back to the other ways of making it work for us so 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 i'll be sharing okay i'll still share my screen so let me go to what we have for today and I think um projects word okay i think at this particular okay i believe we stopped at um the last class we did, we stopped at how can we check for words that includes AE together in a particular order? I think this is where we stopped. I think this is okay. There was a forbidden letter. We did a forbidden letter. Yes, we I remember XY. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do right now is please pay attention. It's an exercise I've already pre program. All these notes I've already had. I've had them prepared for you guys, and I'm very sure that it's self-explanatory enough. So the next exercise I want to do right now is to define a function name only uses this letter. It will take what? It will take letters and a text. It will check if the text uses only these letters. So if the text uses only these letters, it's going to return true. If it doesn't lose these letters, it's going to return what? False. So please pay attention. Let's see if this method is going to work for us. So we're going to define a function, which I already said it only uses these letters, and we're passing in what two things, that is the text and letters. So the next thing we want to do now is, remember we said that if it takes letters and a text, and it will check if the text only uses these letters, okay? So if a particular text only uses this letter, that's when it's going to return true. So for char, this character here in text, that means anything that the user brings in as text, are going to use that as they're going to look through them. So this is a comment said if character is in letters or not. Okay, to check if the character is in letters or not. Check if the character is an alphabetical order, and we use a function known as the word the is alpha. We use the function known as the word the is alpha. We can see it here. If character dot is alpha, and remember the and operator that and must the two conditions must be met. If the two conditions are met, it's going to return what is going to is is not going to be what's true. Okay, so if if alpha and not character in what in letters return what false, it means at this particular point that <clears throat> it means at this particular point that if the character is not in what in letters, that means if it doesn't use all of the remember the main thing is to do what. The text uses only these letters. So if it is not in the in the letter that is going to be called by the user, it's going to return false. Else return true. So in this particular process, let me try and run this cell from here. Let me run it. Let me connect it first. So by the time I connect this first and I run this. It's trying as much as possible to to run. It's taking time. It's initializing and it's connected now. So by the time it's connected, it's running. It's okay, there's nothing wrong. So now this is a sentence, and this particular sentence is more of like the text that we are putting here. So by the time we do that, it's going to do what? This is going to be the text, and these are the letters we want to use. By the time we use this letter, we're not going to say 
okay, this is what we have defined now. Only we call out the function, only uses these letters. We put in the sentence, which is check, and we put in the letters. If you run this to check, it's going to what? return what? True. Why is this so? Because the C-H-E-K here has been used all by this particular word, text. But if you want to try this out again, and we we'll try to run this, you can see already that the outcome is false. Why is it false? Because it is not, the letters here is not only using what C-H-E-K. There is another one here, which is what T-H-I-S. So it's going to return what? False. I don't know if anybody will have any questions right now to ask. Looking at the way of making it faster for us. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any questions, if you have any doubts, if you are feeling like um, like you know, this particular one, you don't understand what is going on, please let me know. Okay, there are no questions. I can proceed. All right. So does anyone understand at all? Please. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, I want to know which one is using the letters. Is it the text? Uh, the character inside the text must be contained in the in the letter or what? I don't know. The letter, the letter that we are going to we are defining should be used up by what should be the only thing that the text uses. Like now, for example, here, like the first one that came out true, you can see that in this particular C H E K here, it it was what it's what the what uh, the sentence here, which is the text here already defined here, is using, and that's what happened. But in this particular one here, you can see that there's T H I S here, which is different from what it's not all that is being what. The letters here is not everything that is here. There's T, there's H, there is I, and there is S. So that's why it's returning false. Okay. I don't know if you, I don't know if you understand right now. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do right now is the next exercise. And we want to use the function in exercise four, which is this particular one we are just through. And what are we going to do right now? We are going to check for the lorem words used using only the ENS letter. So where are we going to find the ENS letter? Remember that we had a TST file, and in this particular collab, we have not uploaded it yet. So I'm going to go to where we used to upload, and I'm going to I'll go to where I downloaded it at first, and I believe it's going to be here. So let me just check um, Word. Okay, it's here. So by the time I click here and I open it, and it's, it's uploaded here. So anytime I call upon it, it's going to answer me right now. So the, answer, the, the exercise here is trying to tell us, use the function in this E4 means exercise four, check for lowering words using the ENS letter. So anyway, we have the ENS, the letters is going to be the ENS and it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same thing as we did in the exercise four, but in this particular one, we are, build, we are using the text file, not just the sentence we want to use, we want to bring it by ourselves. It's uh, this particular one, we are going to create in only the ENS letters, the words that, on, that uses the word, the ENS letter. So that means any word that doesn't have the ENS, ENS in it is going to do what? It's not going to print it out. That's what the essence of this particular uh, lines of code. So we're going to define a function here only uses this letter as lorem. Remember, try to make sure that your function is descriptive enough, and the lorem is the text file that we have, we have just brought in. So by the time we do that, we want to read the file. How do we read the file? We file is equal to open as we have done before in the previous classes. For line in files, we want to look through each of the lines of the file. We split it into a list so that we can actually get it and bring them out, and we go through each of the elements of that particular list by defining it to word is equals to word underscore list on line 12, and we are starting from the very first index. Now we convert it to the lower case. Remember when we were trying to work on a project and we saw that by the time we did it, and all, some of the letters came out, but it was because it was capitalized, that's why it did not work for us. So we had to change the word dot lower to make sure all of them are in lower cases. 
So if this particular, this is where this is what happens now. We are now calling out the the function on exercise four. We're now calling out the function of exercise four, which is what only uses this letter. So it's the same thing, just that we are trying to use the TST file. So only uses this word letters. Okay, only uses this word letter. So in, instead of what, instead of the normal text we, we added here, which was text before, we are now putting the word, the word itself. We are now putting the word because the word we have already defined here is the word, the, uh, the txt files that we have, we have gotten already. So word is equals to word the lower. So anything that comes inside this word is the txt file, which we have embedded to be in a lower case. We are going to use it right now. By the time we use it now, I'm putting letters. It's going to work for us. So remember, this, remember we used to reference, um, we used to bring in other functions inside another functions to make sure that it works for us. So if it is this, we are going to do what prints the word word. So let's run this and see what will happen. So you can see it's, this particular one is taking right. So how do we call it out? Now the letters here is now the E and S, which we have been looking for. <clears throat> and we now bring, bring out this function, which we have defined here, already here. If only uses this letters lorem. So by the time we call it out here, and we are bringing the letters here, please pay attention to what just happened now. We are now calling the letters here inside this particular word. Why is this so? Because we are using what this already takes in one parameter. Because inside this function, we are going to take in what? We are going to take in another function which we have defined already in exercise four, and which is the word if uses this word later. By the time we bring it out and we, we reference it inside this function already, we put in just the letter. By the time we put in the letters, automatically the work of this function is to read the word that we have already put in here. And by the time we run this here, you can see that the results will give us what? Words inside the word.txt file that uses the only the words, the E and S. So you can see we have we have E here, we have N here, we have S. You can see here the first one is you can see it has E, S, S. The other one has N, it has E, it has S and N as well. So you can see these are the ones that uses the E N S at some point that uses E N S, any of these particular word letters. So I don't know if you understand what I've just done now. If you have any questions, please never hesitate to ask. Remember that we are trying this out, a new kind of method to see how it will really help us in our learning process. I believe you guys are getting matured enough and that's why I'm using this style. If you don't understand, please let me know or we should go back to how we used to. So please, do you understand what I've just done now? Mr. Funso, do you understand? Yes, first Okay, okay, good. Uh, Mr. Sunday. Okay. Mr. Mark. Are you sure he's here? Okay, good. All right. All right. Let's let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. Yes, I'm here. Sorry, I'm following. Sorry. Okay, okay, good. All right, good. Yeah. So at any point, I think I'm having a low battery at this point, and I just came in. I hope the battery takes us, but if it doesn't, we'll just find a way to uh, make sure we I get to start the gen and make sure. I just got in, that's why I've not really had the time to start the gen. But nevertheless, anyhow, we can, I will always find a way out. So let's see. Um, please mute yourself. So let's go back to the next exercise I want to do right now is Define a function name uses all. It's to take a text and a letters. If the text uses all the letters all at once, it will return true. This one is a very practical case. So it's saying that if it uses all the text, you are going to return true. But if it if it doesn't, please return what false. So I am trying to make sure that I send. I make people understand here. So we are defining a function uses or we are taking a text and a letters. This particular one, we are not going to use the, the TST file for now. And let's say now what happens is that we're going to create another variable 
it's underscore uses underscore or equals to true. This is a Boolean condition. So that means if this particular condition is met, we are going to say, okay, this is how it is. Okay. Guys, please excuse me. Let me just speak this for. Hello? All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to pick that call, sorry. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is, if the text uses all the letters at once, it will return true. So it means that anything that we use, it means that it must be what, in this particular text that we use, is going to what, uh, return true or false. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So we start, please look at it step by step. If you miss any step, really affect you at some point. So let's go it step by step. So we are defining a variable here. It uses, it underscore, uses underscore or equals to true. May, uh, for letter in letters, that means for each of the letter inside this letter, if that letter is not a text, if it's not text, guys, uh, let me try to make sure. I think I, I have to always make sure that my comment is, so if the text is not using this particular letter, so if not letter in word text, if it doesn't, if it doesn't use the letter in this particular text, you are going to do what is underscore uses all turns to word false. I don't know if you get what I just did now. So for letter in letters, so what we are doing that it's okay for letters in letters. We are now bringing out each of the letters. We have not said anything about it. We are just looping it through. Now the condition is if not letter in text. That means if the letter that we have we have gotten on line six inside the word is not in the text. We are going to change the word the number four to word from true to word false. Okay. So by the time we change it to false, now what happens? the loop has what finished here. By the time it's false, the loop will stop. And by the time it does that, we're going to say return what it uses what all. So anytime that it is, why, how, when is it going to be true? Is when the text is what, the, the letter is in what text. But if it is not, it's going to what return false. So by the time we, by the time we go to this, now say return it uses or is it that what, is it that it is, it is true or it is false here. Why is it is it is true? Because as this particular condition is, is running, it means that if it is this and it becomes false, it means that if it is not false, it is definitely what true. So by the time we get this, we are returning the value of false or true. So by the time we now say, okay, remember that we define text and letters. So we go to text and letters. Letters equals to A, B, D, the letters we are using. Then the text is, let me run this right to run this particular one. So letters equals to A, B, D. The text we are using is, this is a bold sentence. Now, if you check, there is A, there is B, and there is D, let's see. So let's see what it will return. It will definitely return true because we are using what A, B, D. You can see there is A, B, D in this particular sentence. But if you look at this particular one here, if you look at this particular one, we are putting A, B, C, D. And in this sentence, there is no a, B, C, there's no C here. So let's see what it will return. So you can see, sorry. Okay, I'm missing some things up right now. Mix C is there. Missing some things. Okay, there is C. There is C here. Sorry, there is C. Yeah, there's a C in sentence here. So is this one I wanted to see. You can see here and see that A, B, D, F. F is not in this sentence. So it's going to return what? False. By the time it returns false, it means that it is what it, it has satisfied the condition in which we had always we wanted it to be. Means that if not letter in text, that means this letter is not in this text that we have defined here. This is the text we have defined here. And then this is the letter that we wanted to use. It has gone through each of them. So there is A, there is B, there is D. So by the time F came in and it checked the text, it went into this text, it did not see F, it returned what false. Now, 
please meet yourself if you're just joining us. Okay, so at this particular point, let's let's do the same thing for let's do the same thing for um for the tech TST file right now. If we can do it for the TST file right now, I will really appreciate it. I will get back to you right now and I will come back to the class. Please use the same thing that we have done for this particular text and uh, letters right now and try it out for the Lorem, that is the TST file, the Word file that we have used before. Try it out, I will join you guys back and let me just try and put on the join and make sure that everything is set, okay? So try it for the, the same thing I've done, just the same thing that we did in the previous exercise. We are using this TST file right now to do so do the same thing for the TST file. Let's see what you have. I'll I'll get back in the next, just in the next three minutes, I'll be back. Okay. All right.
Hello, welcome. Has anybody tried to finish it to try something out? Hello. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, anybody, has anybody tried something out? Yes. Are you serious? Uh, I can hear you. I can also hear you. Okay, did you try something out? Are you sure? Are you sure you guys are following what I'm doing? I'm I'm actually struggling for I mean with this with this um uh with this particular one. The last, the last like four classes. So that's why I really could not do much now. You have to find a way because this this particular project will <clears throat> a lot of persons eh, will have to find a way out. To, I don't know if I'm going to do it, too, but. It's really, really going to be a very important project. That's why I've told you guys to open a GitHub account. This is where this this is going to be a defining moment for you as a programmer. So in the next project that we're going to do is very it's going to be very taxing. It might be simpler to some person, it might be very difficult to some person. So it's going to define who is who. So it's going to be a very not so if you if you are missing out at this stage. You have to find a way to get back in. It's very, very important that you do. So please, if at any point you don't understand, always call me back and let's find a way to make sure that you get it. Or you can private chat me at any time. It's very, very important. If I'm available, I will respond immediately. I will tell you what to do. Or I can send a material for you as well. So um, I will go back to the project. And let's see how we can so far the exercises. So I don't know who has tried it out at some point. Oh, I'm, is it that difficult? Maybe we know like is it difficult? Like I'm joining with my phone, so I wouldn't be okay okay i guess you. all right okay so i'll share my screen again and let's try to get back in so i believe this is where we are um now in this particular one we want to use the function the exercise six that we have just finished for the lorem letters check and we're going to use the same thing so what we're going to do the words using all the letters in a e i so instead of the other one we use a b c d f and the rest but this particular one we're going to use the a e i and we're going to see how we can navigate it through so we, we definitely we are going to read the file the txt file by the time we read the file we go through each of the lines so everything is the same as we did in the previous one now the next thing we are going to use this particular function if uses underscore all and we're putting in instead of text or the sentence we are using the word and by the time we do that the letters itself will come out as well the same thing we did for the formal exercise and by the time we do that we want it to print word and now we are defining the letters it equals to what a e i and by the time we call out the function uses all lorem and put it in letters here it's going i can't to i can't see the screen i don't know if i'm the only one i can see it's confirmed that you can see my screen i can see some persons are seeing they can see my screen i can't see anything here 
please confirm you can see my screen. Uh, Mr. Fonobo, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Yes, I can see your screen. Okay, so I don't know what's wrong. Maybe it could be network. Okay, people are saying they can see. So guys, let, let's, let me continue. So we're going to do the same thing for the other ones. And this particular one, we're using the TST file. And we're, the letters we're using is AEI. So by the time we run this out, let me let me run it from here. It's already, it, are, it has run already from my end. And we are just seeing the app. So by the time it runs here, it's going to bring out only the words that don't worry there'll be a recording this thing and at some point i don't know if you cannot see my screen i don't know maybe it's a network issue so it's going to bring out only the words that has the aei in them so you can see in all the tst files the, the each of the list is only these words that have the aei in them that's why it's bringing them out all on its own okay so I, can I, you say can you... yes Sorry, are you recording? Because it seems the recording was paused. It's still recording. OK. OK, someone tried something out. OK, um, Mr. Solomon, I, Dr. Solomon, I can see. Let me go. OK, good. Nice one, nice one. OK, nice one, Mr. Solomon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for trying this out. Thank you very much. I hope this is correct, Sha. It is definitely. I don't know. I'm not. It's not a code I can run right now to check. But if it works for you there, that means it's going to work for us. It's going to work for us here. If we want to text and yeah, try it out. Nice trial. Nice one. So far, it's amazing. I like that. The hands-on is there. Okay. So let's get there. <laughs> if I say that, if I say this now, I say Doctor Fair. If you have, if you have seen what you are doing, <laughs> if I look for trouble, okay. Let me continue. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he's already typing. Okay, so what we are going to do, I hope at this point you understand what is going on right now. So what we did was, if this particular letter, this particular letter is in this, is in the word, the, the text file that we have uploaded, is going to print it out. This was the code that we used. We looked at the split, we looked at this, and we now call out the previous function they uses all words, uh, they uses all function, which was in the previous exercise. And that is um, the one we did here. I don't think it's online again. Wow, battery down, battery low. Mm. So, Mr. Sunday, you can continue the class. Mr. Sunday, Dr. Payami. Please continue the class. Um, so, this is where we end the class tonight. We'll continue on Wednesday. So good night, guys. Try and do your exercises and practice, and you know. You have not. Can. You have not added actually. <laughs> no, you can't ensure that you understand all that you are being taught. It is very important. Please, you I find can't it hear very. You. I can't hear you. This is where we end the class tonight. Oh. Who is this? An imposter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! It's like his battery went flat, so I don't think we can. We'll be able to continue the class tonight. All right. Good so, night. but I'm sure he will reach out and send a message to us as soon as he can. So good. Now, go there. Good night. Good night, everyone. So good. All right. Nice, everyone.
Hello, Mr. Fonobon, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What happened to everyone? I think the network had locked me out. No, I think at, all, at some point your battery went flat. And they your thought what? that with the, your home battery went flat. Hello? Hello? Okay. I... So they now thought that, that should be the end of the class. So everybody now left. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. You can just send a chat to us on the WhatsApp platform so that people will know that because they said that should, that would be the end of the class because the battery went flat. Okay, that's true. I had to find a way to fix that up. The general tried on it was not even having issues. I think it's the is I think it's a full issue. I thought I had for okay. the last time. Okay. But I always have a backup plan. That's one of the things. Please just start them up in the group. Just start them up that I'm back. Okay. okay. Sorry about that, guys. At some point, I thought I had for here, but it's not working. I think, I don't know. I think it's the floor that is the issue. I thought I had for, but I upped again last time. My brother, is it the floor of the country that we are in? <laughs> no, I actually I actually had for in my gen. I don't know. I upped, I switched it off last last night, so I don't, I, 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 not, I did not know that it was, it was really low. But I always have a backup battery, like this battery I've not used it in a long time, so I'm even so shocked it's still full at some point. <laughs> huh? I don't know if they'll be they'll have the energy to join back in. Because I really, I really had a whole lot of things to do today. Like, I really wanted to, at least, because it's Easter, there should be a break. I was thinking of a break for everyone. Um, it could be uh, maybe from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then on 
on Wednesday we begin again. That means that's going to be one week. So that's what I was thinking of. That's why I really wanted to finish this up. That means if we don't finish it up tonight, we're going to have to finish it up on Wednesday so that I can leave you guys for the projects to do the projects during the Easter break. And we'll resume fully on Wednesday next week. So that's why I'm really, really trying to rush it up and trying to make it up for you guys. So I believe it's only the three of you. I don't know. Dr. Pemi, uh, should we continue? Uh, Mr. Funso, Dr. And Mr. Mark? It will be fair or not as if we continue. I, I think we should just call it uh, a good night and then we'll continue on next time. Okay. Supported. I mean, to be fair to other colleagues, Dr. Yes, Dr. Pemi yeah. is, is, is on spot. I, I don't know, just in addition, if yeah, today's class was quite short, no issues. If that video can be shared so that, um, I mean, for folks like me, I can go through it so that by Wednesday will be like literally grounded to to go along. I don't know if that will be okay. No matter how short it is. Okay. Estella, welcome back. I'm sorry for leaving you guys. The battery just went out. I thought I had fallen in the gen. When I found out, I had to just continue the class. And there's a battery that there's always a backup plan somewhere. So I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll call it a night and. All right, thank you guys for joining in and have a fantastic evening.